we're told that f of x is equal to one over the square root of x plus one. And what we want to figure out is what is the second degree Maclaurin polynomial of f? And like always, pause this video and see if you could have a go at it. So let's remind ourselves what a Maclaurin polynomial is. A Maclaurin polynomial is just a Taylor polynomial centered at zero. So the form of this second degree Maclaurin polynomial, and we just have to find this Maclaurin expansion until our second degree term, it's going to look like this. So p of x, I'm using p for a polynomial. It's going to be our f of zero plus And we, we could view that as f of zero times x to the zero power. Well, that's just f of zero. f of zero plus f prime of zero x plus f prime prime of zero divided by, we could think of it as two factorial, but it's really just two. We could think of this as dividing by one factorial, which is just one. This dividing by zero factorial, but that's just one again. So we have f prime prime of zero, the second derivative evaluated at zero divided by two x squared. Now if we wanted a higher degree, we could keep on going, but remember, they're just asking us for the second degree. So this is the form that we're going to need. We're going to have these three terms. So let's see if we can evaluate these, let's see if we can evaluate the function and its derivatives at zero. So f of zero, f of zero is equal to one over the square root of zero plus one. Well that's one over the square root of one, the principal root of one, which is positive one. So that's just going to be equal to one. So that right over there is equal to one. Now let's evaluate f prime of x, and then I'll evaluate f prime of zero. f prime of x is equal to, well one over the square root of x plus one, this is the same thing as x plus one, let me write it this way. This is the same thing as, let me actually let me write it down this way. f of x, another way of writing f of x is, this is the same thing as x plus one, to the negative one half. And so if I'm thinking the first derivative of f, well I could use the chain rule here. The derivative of x plus one with respect to x, well that's just going to be one. And then I'll take the derivative of this whole thing with respect to x plus one and I'll just use the power rule there. So it's going to be negative one half times x plus one to the, and I decrement the exponent, negative three halves. And so the first derivative evaluated at zero is just negative one half times, if this is zero, zero plus one is just one, one to the negative three halves. One to the negative three half power, well that's just going to be one. So this whole thing, f prime of zero is just negative one half. So that is, this right over here is negative one half. And now let's figure out the second derivative. All right, I'll do this, let me do this in this green color. So the second derivative with respect to x, well I do the same thing again. The derivative of x plus one with respect to x, that's just one. So I just have to take the derivative of the whole thing with respect to x plus one. So I take my exponent, bring it out front, negative three halves times one half, times negative one half is going to be positive three fourths times x plus one. And then I decrement the exponent here by one or by two halves. So it's going to be negative five halves. And so the second derivative evaluated at zero, well if this is equal to zero, you're gonna have one to the negative five halves, which is just one, times three fourths, it's just gonna be three fourths. So this part right over here is three fourths, and so you're gonna have three fourths divided by two. Three fourths divided by two is three eighths. So our Taylor, or I should say our Maclaurin polynomial, our second degree Maclaurin polynomial, p of x, is going to be equal to, and I'll do it in the same colors, it's going to be equal to one plus, or maybe I'll just write it as negative, minus one half, minus one half x plus three eighths x squared, plus three eighths x squared. And we are done, there you have. We have our second degree Maclaurin polynomial of f, which is, could be used to provide an approximation for our function, especially, as we, as, especially for x's near zero.